This week is one that we will not forget for a really long time. It's been such an exciting week. And I spent two days this week in Fredericton at the Tourism Association of New Brunswick annual summit and what an amazing two days um, just so much information so much so many uh, great networking opportunities um, but a great learning opportunity for us and they had their gala um, event on Tuesday night and we were just so thrilled a few weeks ago when we found out that we had been nominated and then we had made the finalists for the tourism marketing award well Tuesday night, we actually won, which was a huge surprise, such an honor. Like, it's hard to put into words how we felt when we found out. And uh, I have my uh, award here that has proudly come back to the manor with me. And uh, just, it was just a phenomenal week. Um, and we, like I say, we're just so grateful to everyone in the tourism industry and the, the people that have supported us and, and to you for watching these videos as well because it's all part of our journey and it's just lovely to be able to share it with you. So this week has been so many great moments, including the gala, um, but we've also been getting ready and decorating for our Christmas market and I have some more sneak peeks but I have a really exciting sneak peek for you today because we are going to reveal our 2021 Christmas ornament. Now if you remember last year we decided that we would start an annual Christmas ornament and have a different one each year. So last year we uh, we had our beautiful pottery ornament and this year we have something really cool. So wait, watch to the end of the video because we're going to show you not not only what it looks like but how we're making it and it's something you won't want to miss so let me show you what we've been up to so today I've been out cutting down my first five Christmas trees for the manor and I got uh, three large ones two small ones and uh, so five down 15 to go I also cut down a wheelbarrow full of greenery so I can start um, making my Christmas tree mannequin and also starting to uh, decorate the manor ready for our Christmas market. I had so much fun last year making my Christmas tree mannequin that I thought I'd do it again this year. And uh, it's gonna be a little bit different from last year. Um, she's gonna look a little bit different. Um, and I'm not gonna tell you exactly what that's gonna look like, but the concept is the same, obviously, and so I have been out today. I've picked up, uh, picked a lot of greenery, and so I'm going to start making her skirt of Christmas tree um, branches. So uh, it smells so lovely in here. It smells of fresh greenery, and uh, so I'm going to get going and get this part uh, all made, and then I will be able to show you what I'm doing for the top half of her. So I've got most of the greenery already in. I'm just uh, cutting some smaller pieces just to fill a few holes that I have on the top here just to make sure it's uh, got no gaps. And uh, I think it's looking really good. I just love how beautiful it is and it smells just amazing um, with all this fresh greenery. And then the next step is for me to add my top piece, which I haven't completely, well, I've kind of got an idea of what I'm gonna do, so you'll have to stay tuned to see what her top is gonna look like, but for now, I think her skirt is just looking great. So decorating at the manor has started, and you can see I've been pulling out all my boxes from the attic, uh, bringing everything down ready for all my Christmas trees. Um, we've started uh, putting together, this is actually a Christmas photo shoot set that is gonna be used this weekend by 
um, Megan Snare Photography and her clients. So we're very excited to be welcoming them to the manor. Um, I've still got some work to do on decorating the mantle, um, but we've got the tree and it's gonna have lots of beautiful ornaments and lights. Um, but I've just been, it's amazing what you find in the attic. So I've been unpacking um, my boxes and looking at what we've got. And uh, then I'm gonna start putting together and decorating all of my 20 trees. It was such an honor to attend the Tourism Association of New Brunswick's gala and summit this week and winning the Tourism Marketing Award was just amazing. But it wasn't long before I was back in my work clothes and my boots cutting down Christmas trees. We have our big trees. Mission accomplished. Two big trees for the reception room and the music room. So our first big tree is now up in the music room and uh, it's looking really cool. I love this tree. It's got its own little ornaments on it. It's got all these little pine cones which are really, really cute. So my next job is to get lights and decorations on this um, to make this look very, very Christmassy. And then our second big tree, if I just come over here, you'll see is also up. So this one is uh, has got a little less on the pine cones. Um, it's not quite as wide, but it's a little bit more dense, which is nice. So I think when we start putting ornaments and lights on, I think that will work really, really well. And uh, this whole room smells just lovely with all this, uh, with all these Christmas trees in. So I've now got eight Christmas trees in the house and uh, with 20 is my goal, I've got 12 more to go. If you remember last year, we, it was the first year of our limited edition Christmas ornaments. So we created this really, really beautiful ornament that I know a lot of you purchased for your Christmas tree. Had our logo on there and on the back we had 2020 and I'm actually using this one as um, a keychain for one of our suites at the moment. But this year we decided, okay, second, second year for our limited edition uh, Christmas ornaments, what are we gonna do? How do we beat this one? It's so beautiful. And so we decided that we would use wood. And so we found these little wood rounds that we decided that we would um, use. And then we decided that we would add and put on our logo, which, you know, obviously was uh, gonna be a great idea. And uh, instead of just going the simple way, you know, we always like to do things big. So what we did was we purchased a laser because it's just very, very cool. Now, it even comes with these very, very attractive green glasses that allow you to look at it because obviously it is a laser, it's working right now, and it's just so cool to watch because you actually see the logo come to life with this little light on this piece of wood. It's so, so cool. So we have been, we're working on them this week, putting them all together, and these ornaments are gonna be available exclusively at our Christmas market, which is the 20th and the 21st of November. And we're gonna have them for sale. And like I say, they're you know, we're gonna have a limited edition. So we only are gonna be making a limited number. So they'll be available at our Christmas market. They'll also be available on our boutique until we run out and then they're gone. So um, we will have our logo on one side. We're gonna have 2021 on the back. So each year, uh, so if you've started collecting our Christmas ornaments last year with our very first one, you need obviously the 2021 edition to go with your 2020. So make sure you get yours ordered. Um, but it's so fun and we've got lots of other and exciting projects to use this laser for in the future. So you're going to be seeing this a lot more um, with other pieces of wood. We, if you remember last year we uh, took down one of our big oak trees so we have some plans for the wood from the oak trees. Um, so stay tuned for that but um, these are really cool. So this is the end result and I think it's just, just lovely. But the uh, laser's still working, and uh, I'm gonna get back to work and get all these ready for our Christmas market, and I will see you on our next episode of the Ladysmith Manor Diaries.